Hello guys, I'm back. And now I'm in the bathroom because I need more light. And I'm tired of holding that phone. My back and stuff hurt. So I want to talk to you guys about something today. Well, today, this, today, it's tonight, today, whatever. Ha, stay still. Okay. So, do you guys believe that there is, um, we all have a kindred spirit? Like somebody that was put on this earth just for you. It's not always easy, you know. But I believe that. I believe that now. Um, and sometimes it's not in this lifetime that you're supposed to be together. Maybe it's another li another lifetime. But I really believe that um, because I'm going through that now. Um, and um, I'm smiling big because I'm like, I just have this feeling in my spirit and in my heart that this is um, what's supposed to be. And not at this time and moment. Um, maybe in another time and another moment, but it is to be. I don't know, I just feel that. I wonder if you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, and I just like, ah, oh, it's like, uh, I'm supposed to be here, you're supposed to be there at this moment in time, but at another, in another moment in time, we will be like this, you know. And it makes me happy in my spirit. It makes me smile. And, and it makes me believe that there is love after um, heartbreak. And there is a person out there that is just for you. And I never thought about it. You know, sometimes you you think the person that you're with is, is, is made for you at that point. Sometimes it's not, it's not like that. It's like there's one person that's made for you. It's like, I won't say a soulmate. I feel like it's kindred spirit. Like you guys are just. I'm sorry, I hear some crazy shit going on. I'm sorry. My neighbors are freaking crazy. Anyway, um, so yeah. So um today I was kinda like down because I like saw some shit that did I didn't didn't want to see, but I had to you know a lot of bullshit. You know, sometimes you live in the fantasy world. <laughs> or the, um, you hear that? They fuss all day. So anyway, um, so when I think about this, kindred spirits, and that, um, this person is meant to be with me, you know? Or maybe I'm just, I, don't, I just feel like it's, it's real. And, um, like, you know, I talked about and let your soul be loud and be brave. And even in love. Like, you know, I go through those periods where I feel like there's nobody real in this world. Like, when I tell you something, it's real. I don't make it up. I don't lie to you because I feel like I'm, I'm not out in this world to get anything out of anybody. I want you to be you. And I want to... To love completely and wholly, without restriction, without, um, without, um, what am I trying to say, guys? Without fear, without any angle, you know? And, um, you can love loud, too. You know, not just your spirit. You can love loud and just give, you know? But you have to make sure the person's giving back. You don't want to just give, you know? As soon as I give... And I give. And the person will just take and take until I just, I'm just like, oh, I don't have anything else to give you. You know, like, I'm just physically, mentally, spiritually drained. You know, and you have to be careful with that. Because it, it, it mutes your soul. You don't want your soul to be muted. That's like dying. It's, it's next to dying. When you, when you let somebody, you know, I tend to do that. I tend to let people mute my soul, you know. And um, sometimes I have, a, I have a problem with letting people change my mind sometimes about situations. And today was a prime example. I had a discussion with a friend of mine. We were talking about my situation. And um, she said some stuff to me that really made, my, made me very, very angry 
and it wasn't directed at her is what she said about the situation it just made me think and then my mind you know I like I told you guys I'm an overthinker so my mind started to go and, and usually what I would do is I'll get on the phone I'm gonna text her and just go in and this day I decided not to even deal with all that not just let you know not to even go there not to let somebody make me feel a certain way and react on my emotions you know sometimes we react on our emotions I want to go through life and I want to go on what I see what's solid I don't really when you run on emotions it's, everything is just fucked up I mean, it's okay. To, I'm not saying I don't want emotions, period. I just don't want to run rampant. And today was the first day that I've ever not went into hysterics. Blah, 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 blah. Mother, you know, oh my God, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to burn you down. I, <laughs> you know. So, um, today, and then, it, and then it, it calmed down. And I started to analyze stuff. But not overthink everything. And I overanalyze. I put it in the place. In the place. And it calmed me down. And that's the beginning of me changing my think thinking my thought process. I'm sorry, y'all. They tripping. Yeah, so I'm changing my thought process. And I'm trying to um change for the better because most of the time when I'm all twisted and crazy I didn't I didn't work myself up into a to a into a tailspin where I'm so angry that I'm crying physically because back in back then I had a rage problem it's still there but it was oh my god it was awful back then I mean I would go into physical it wasn't. It, it wasn't just a rage now it's like a rage so I'm just like oh my god I have to say I I speak with my mouth. I don't use these. You know, I, you know, you defend yourself, but I mean, and most of the time when people use these, it's because they can't use this to defend themselves. They don't know how to do that, so they, they resort to violence. But anyway, um, I know I went off the subject, but I had a rage problem, and, um, and, and I go from zero to 60. Like, bam! And I'll be ready to take your head off. You hear me? Um, but now, you know, you get older, you know, I don't have time to be, no, not so much. I don't have time to be out there in the streets fighting like that. It's, I'm too old for that. It's, I'm a grown woman. You know, it's, it's, it's juvenile to me. And it's, it's simple. So, um, anyway, on to stuff. I went to whatever else I was talking about. I tend to go from subject to subject, so stop me if I do that. Okay, love it. So anyway, like I was saying about I went all the way off somewhere else, but I was talking about kindred spirits and letting your soul be loud in love. And I do want to love. You know, I want to love again. You know, um, I was so terrified, and I still have that fear of this being hurt, this being broken. And see, this is what fucks you up. Not that, you know, everything is here. It's a mental thing. But that mental will make you fucking believe your heart is like, what is going on? My heart is like, oh my God, it's like a mental thing. But in this life, I think there is somebody for everybody. Somebody that was put on this earth just for you. And I believe that now. And I never really thought about it. Somebody that can love you. Like sometimes somebody come in your life and, and you... It's a saying. One day somebody will come in your life that will make you understand why I never worked with anybody else. And you know, I'm just like, wow. You know, I want that. I do. Eventually it will come. I'm not rushing it, but it will come. And maybe not in this lifetime. Maybe the next lifetime, you know. But I'm ready. And I'm, I'm here. I'm open. And my soul is loud. And my love is loud and colorful. Colorful, there it is. Colorful love. It doesn't have to be one color. You know, it doesn't have to be. It's just out there. It's just open. 
And I get excited when I talk about it because I feel it, you know. I feel it. I feel the colorful love. I feel the loud love. I feel fucking love right now. Somebody out there in love. I feel great. Like, I'm like feeding off of it. Like, like I'm getting full off of it. And that's what I want to do. I want to get full off of love. You know, and I want to be with somebody that just... I don't have to second guess. I don't have to wonder. Because I'm damn loyal. But I can't seem to find loyal. But I know there's loyal. In this. I know there's somebody out there. Oh, scared the shit out of me. This is my toilet doing that. I'm sorry, y'all. Ooh, I almost jumped up on the floor like a cat. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. In this life, there is a kindred spirit for you. Some people are just made to be. And I really believe that. And I'm, I'm flying on that now. Like, I'm flying. Do you understand? I'm like, I'm flying and I just soar the rest of the way. Just soar so pretty and just straight, straight line and just soar. But there is somebody out there for everybody. And there's somebody out there for you. There's somebody out there looking for me. You know? And um, that's a blessing. So, when you find that person, that one person that's meant to be with you and you're meant to, don't let them go. Work, work, work. You know? Live, love, laugh, and by all means, fuck, right? And um, Love loud, colorful love. Let your soul scream. Laugh from your soul. When you when you laugh from your soul, and when you when you just uh, just uh, you know what I'm saying, the world can see it, baby. People can see it, and you'll see that they see, and you'll feel it. You know, and, and I hope this helps me too, because right now I'm in one of those moves. I'm like. Ding, you know, but later I might be, oh, next video, oh, God. You know, I go through my moods, but I believe it now. I really do believe. I believe there's somebody for me. Wow. <laughs> it's like I feel, I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying. I hope you can. You can feel that connection even though you're not connected. You feel it. You know that it's close. You can smell it in the air. I can feel it in the air. I can hear it in your voice. That's my song. But yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it all around me. It's like tingling in my fingertips and through my body. And it just makes me feel great. Because I know that the stuff I say, nobody wants me. It's not true. Somebody does. They just haven't found me yet. And I haven't found them. So right now, I'm just relaxing. I'm taking it easy because when I when that person finds me, it's gonna be so much love and so much joy that I'm gonna need to rest up. <laughs> so I need to just chill out and um be patient. And um you do the same. If you're out there and you like me and you you feel lost sometimes and you feel unwanted, unloved, you are all those things. You're wanted, you're loved. You just have to love and want yourself and um and the world will see it. If you don't, they won't. But if you live and laugh and love and live loud and love loud and let your soul scream, you know what I'm saying? Just, wah, just God, it's a beautiful thing. You can feel it. But anyway, I'm rambling on. It's like I've been on here for like 13 minutes now, almost 14. Um, I just thought I'd say that to you guys. I, I felt like I did a little video of talking about the person. <laughs> the person. The person. It's only one person. That person. And you know you think somebody else is that person and they're not. And you know that. You're like, no, not so much. You know, but this person I feel like is the that person. Could be wrong, but I feel like I'm not wrong. Like I'm dead right. Um, so anyway. This is PSTV. This is Princess Shaw. This is um the chronicles of my bullshit roller coaster as life, the ups and downs, the good moments like now, um, just my day to day bullshit. And I hope you um, enjoy watching me because I enjoy, enjoy, enjoy doing these videos, you know, um, letting you guys into my heart, letting you guys into my world, letting you in here um, and giving you something, hopefully, because and, and, I'm taking something from you. Um, 
And I love you all. And I just thank you for tuning in. This is PS TV. This is Princess Shaw. I'm a rock star gold. Goodbye, lovers. Bye, y'all. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.